All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. Oh my goodness, it looks like we have a storm over the African Canyon. I also just opened up the IL-2M, uh, the storm of it here, and it seems the only real difference between these two is the 2M has a turret on the back of it. So, uh, let's, oh, I don't want 50 kilogram bombs. Those are weak sauce. But I guess you can only bomb. We're going to use uh, 100 kilogram bombs and the heavier rockets, so. And uh, Juro gave a shout out, wanting to know if there's any drunk Latvians in the game mode. So, look at the visuals right here. Look at how the rain is just flying near horizontally at me. Poor Gunner, if, if it was going the other way, it'd be going straight at his face. But luckily, we're not driving backwards. And by driving, I mean flying. So our objective here is to ground and pound. Look at those columns of heavy tanks. So we are picking up speed rather rapidly. And uh, S79, if we could, we have cannons on this bad boy. So if we can hit this guy, that'd be pretty sweet. Nope. And I'm not really going to worry about it. I am an attacker, and that is what I'm going to be doing. The Russians have probably some of the best attacking aircraft in the game, and there's a Typhoon over there, so I have to keep that in mind. So let's see what's going on here. I hit all three of those targets with my rockets. Pretty pretty good. You have to be very close to be anywhere accurate with them. So we're going to try to get this Typhoon off the enemy, or a friendly aircraft here, I thought. We had it. Alright, so we took him out. Now, that guy was as much a threat to me. Who's that? There's an enemy somewhere around here can't figure out exactly where. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm not going to be able to maneuver as good as this uh, zero is. So if this zero is on me, I think there's a couple people actually hanging out on my six. Come on. Well, we finally got taken out. What did we do? One aerial kill and three ground kills. Kind of got a little distracted. So that may be why. We were taken out by a zero. There's no way we're going to beat a zero in a dogfight. So I haven't tried out the PE3 yet. And uh, it's got decent uh, firing capability on his nose. And I don't have any guns yet, so actually I'll skip him. And I'll go in for my Stormovic without the uh, gunner. I got my heavy rockets. I got four bombs. All right, so there's the zeros over there. And let's see. Storms, man. Gorgeous weather. I like how they're implementing storms. It's going to be crazy to see storms when you're in control of naval vessels. I mean, try to imagine that your ship pitching up and down as a result of wave action if you're in a PT boat like I don't know how it may affect torpedoes well I mean the launching of the torpedoes alright so I'd really like to take a crack at some of these uh, bomber poachers like this BF-110 and that bow fighter there zero is always nice if you can shoot down a zero with the IL-2 that's, that's pretty epic as far as I'm concerned bow fighters are always a And you're dead, son. So I missed on every one of my rockets, totally wasting them, but I have a quick reload. So yeah, are we dogfighting with uh, Stormovic? You bet your pants we are. I would have bit my pants. Killed the Air Cobra. These uh, cannons are pretty beastly. And we got taken out, but we took out a good... Uh, 
three aircraft there, I think. Yeah, worked out well. So I'm kind of, <laughs> look at that, taken out by zero, which if you've seen any of my recent videos, I really am enjoying those. So what is the difference here between the Yak-1B and the Yak-7B? 267. This guy's got better firing power, so I'm going to go with him. So let's see. They've got that zero fighter over there with five kills. He's their only real fighter, whereas there's a couple of us in the twos and fours. So there's the Yak one. So I got my nose mounted cannon and 150 machine gun, 150 cal. I think this guy would be a little heavier, more heavier armed. This TBF, probably go after him. Wow, that took everything I had to kill that guy. Did you see how many hits that guy took? Like point blank. Not sure what that's about. We'll go after the bow fort as no one is really approaching him. Oh man, my cannons are down to 27. That's why I fired. I had to check those out real quick. And this guy is just pulling away from me. He's got, he's in a rise with, you know, a couple props. So we'll dive down here. Maybe take out this Spitfire who's coming into, or the Hurricane, either one. So that Spitfire is now on my tail in a sense. What is going on behind me? Got this Spitfire still running around. BF-109E on his tail. So this thing's not super maneuverable. I think he's more of a beefy, survivable type fighter. Alright, so I got cannons back. I'm going to drop in on him. Good lord. Alright, good. Took him out. I was going to say, so this thing does have a cannon and a 50 cal machine gun, but that's about it. Um, I mean, could have a little more... This thing feels beefy and slow, so I'm assuming it is pretty, like, pretty, has a good uh, survivability to it. A lot of armor. That's typical of most Russian aircraft. So I'm going to go on that bet. I'm going to jump up here. What? Something. KI-61. Alright, so BF-109 trying to pick on a Wellington. See if we can't go and help him out. Got one of our gun systems back. Wasn't looking. Okay, we got something. Okay. Thought something may have been coming in on my 6. I would really like to help this Wellington out. But I can't climb. They're too far away and I can't really climb. So I'm going to bail out on that. Hit this Soviet Su-2 attacker that the air cobra is chasing so it seems like the air cobra is kind of similar to this except uh... you know a much bigger cannon with its thirty seven millimeter cannon IL-2 alright damage this oil tank I much would have rather hit you know ooh he's IL-2 went in for the air cobra kill alright That guy crashed into the aisle too. Don't know why. Alright, zeros. Ah, uh, bow fighter. Screw the bow fighter.
not wanting to get hit in my propeller by this bow fighter's gunner and kind of wait till my cannons are back and then I'm gonna oh but he's zooming away so limited opportunity and then pop this guy Hayabusa Alright, so we are deep in enemy territory. Probably not gonna live too much longer, but we're gonna do our best. Hayabusa and an air cobra. Alright. Yeah, this guy's got some survivability to him. As try a somersault right here. But you know, when you get hit with a 37 millimeter cannon, you're going down. Oh actually. Still got Oh, that'd be cool if I would have nicked that Hayabusa's wing, but nope. I always try to... Look at that. Flaming wreckage in that storm. Epic stuff. So we're down to our next to last fighter. <laughs> oh, wow. We are getting our butt kicked in terms of ground and pound. I guess that's because I took my Stormovic and went dogfighting with it. So we need to, we only have two ground targets left, and that bow fort is over by one of them. The other one's over to my right, it's probably a pillbox, so I'm going to hang out over here. Kill as many of these buggers as I can. PE3, he's probably going in for the pillbox. intercept yeah at this point you gotta go for the bombers now he has some nose cannons so I'm gonna veer out and then hit him from an angle here and he is down that was some fortunate shots I think good angle as well likely the case. KF-43 Hayabusa, one of the most maneuverable and fun to fly planes in this game. Kitty Hawk, uh, an MC-200 and a Hurricane. This P-40E is likely to be coming on me. So I'll take the Hurricane in the back of this pack as he's chasing this yak. Hurricane in the back of the pack is chasing the yak. Don't mind me, Jack. That was pretty, pretty epic stuff. Man. Hurricane. Do you even know I'm here? Gotta protect the bowfighter. Need something to shoot this guy. Perfect timing. Well, the bow fighter's down, so could have come sooner. Sorry, bow. It's about, all right, we'll get this Ki-61 on my friend's tail. Got to catch up to them though. Ooh. Yeah, so we have one ground target in is the back where everyone is at right now. So game's good. I'm assuming the game's gonna end very soon. I took a lot of damage in that heads up. And there got a KI-61 on my tail. 
It's never good. And my engine is black. Days are numbered, but we got a D3A1. Ooh, blown up. Still got nine kills out of it. All right, all right, come on. Yeah, I understand that. I understand who I was killed by. So I've never fly this thing. He's got a cannon in his nose. So that is our last target over there, and that D3A1 is making a beeline for it, followed by an IL-4. So this is likely the end. Whoa, shot down. But the IL-4 probably got some bombs off. Yep, he sure did. Meow. So, first time flying with some of the uh, higher tiered Russian planes, fighters specifically. It was a lot of fun. And uh, look at this guy playing as the Japanese man. They are fun to play, very maneuverable, and only 20,000 experience. So, no assists. Bunch of critical hits, but only nine kills. I mean, we should have had maybe one more. Did, did decent. So I'm Baron and I'm out. And that was uh, Russian Yaks. So we're going to be rocketing on our approach. Okay, we may have botched our bombing run up. Nope. Wow, these thousand pound bombs will just destroy the destroyers. Where's my bombing reticle? Dude, look at that. And this thing's a fighter? I'm gonna be rolling with the Americans. Assuming I don't get shot down. I have a bad habit of getting shot down by a AAA.